Hey everybody, what's up? Letting go of labels. This is something that I've just gone through. Basically, once you find your life in ruin, this is one of the things that you can do to turn that supposed negative event in your life into a life transforming experience. Letting go of labels. So many of us walk around carrying an incredible amount of labels. It's not just one. We've got the label who our parents are, so our last name, our gender, um, our sexual orientation as we start to age and find our own way, what we do for a living, what nationality we are, what uh, spiritual beliefs, what religion, and the more labels we pile on ourselves, the less open we are to actually being in the present moment and experiencing all of life. Because we become so identified with, my name is Amy Blackford, I'm a children's book author and illustrator, I live at such and such address, I'm Italian, uh, my, my mom's Catholic, my father's Protestant, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, now I'm an ex-wife. And the more labels we pile on top of ourselves, the more disconnected we actually become. Because each one of those labels puts us in a box, so you can imagine that with every little box you're placing yourself in, you are narrowing your life experience. There's all of this out here. And with each label, chink, 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 you like squish in this little box. And I wanna invite you to start breaking, breaking that down, letting those labels go. I had a moment, uh, it was actually right before my real, I would say, the acceleration in my awakening started about six months ago. And what happened right before that, and I believe pushed me over the edge, is one night I was witnessing uh, two uh, close friends of mine were having an argument, and I'm always kind of the negotiator. And I like... I like to help people and aid them in understanding themselves. So I'm quite fascinated with psychology and how our minds work. So after witnessing uh, this argument, the friend of mine had suffered a, a traumatizing experience and she was constantly labeling herself as a survivor when in fact she actually used her life experiences as an excuse to be very destructive, not only to herself, but to everyone around her. And of course, as objective, it's very easy when you're observing someone else to be like, she's not a survivor, she's still a victim. And well then suddenly, I took a hard look at myself. I come from a very rough background and I've gone through really the majority of my life labeled a survivor. I survived certain experiences. And I realized even labeling yourself a survivor, that just means you're a victim that got through it. And this really started me on the path of letting, letting my labels go with that one, because that was a major one, one at a time. During your meditation, sit with this phrase, I am, I am, just be with no labels, see how good it feels, you'll understand, you'll understand what I'm saying.
This is gonna open the doorway if you don't know what your purpose is in life, why, what your, your personal mission is, why you came to this planet. That is gonna open the doorway for that to come through. But the first thing you need to do is let go of the labels. Your purpose is still just what you, you're gonna do. The doing isn't who you are. Your divine energy. I am. That's all you need to be. And when you let go of this feeling that your accomplishments, your accolades, all of these physical uh, reality acquisitions, <laughs> they're not who you are. They're not who you are. And when we find our life has fallen apart, this is the perfect opportunity to say, you know what? I'm going to sift through this little shattered pile of pieces and I'm going to extract the things that still work for me. I love writing and I love illustrating. I took the children's label off. I really love writing more young adult adult work. So I took that one label off and it freed me in my art. I allowed myself to say, it's okay that I was unhappy in the old life that I had and that I wanted something new. I forgave myself. This is another thing you can do. Um, sometimes when something doesn't work, whether it's our fault or not, we just, we feel a tremendous amount of guilt and pain and anguish as we replay this very painful experience. This is what creates suffering. Pain is just pain. It's fleeting like pleasure. It comes and it goes. Don't fear it. But the suffering is generated through forcing yourself to relive the same pain over and over and over again. And there's no changing it. So as we let our labels go, many times we leave behind the pain, the suffering that's attached to that particular label. This is a process, awakening. If you haven't read a New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. I really invite you to do that as well. Or, well, these are all the different reads uh, that I've acquired. I've been on the spiritual path for a long time. Another great one is The Master Key System by Charles F. Honnell. He is one of the founding fathers of quantum physics. This, this book was written, I believe it was 1910 as well as The Science of Success by uh, Wallace Waddles. This is more geared around the power of the mind and energy is this plastic thing. Matter is a plastic thing. And so with your mind and your heart as the generator, the, the emotion behind it, you become a magnet and attractor for everything. For some of you that are questioning the validity behind a lot of the different videos and things that you're seeing, uh, especially, you know, I can speak in reference to Team Light, uh, Unite the Collective, Ryan, Dero7. You really need to do a lot of outside research so that you can understand some of the fundamental truths that are being talked about here. So you're not such naysayers or questioning it. You know, if you have doubt, if something's resonating in you, investigate. And the more you find it everywhere, the more faith, the more you're going to be able to believe what's actually going on here. So this is another way to let go of your labels is understanding the power of words. Alchemic principles behind the language and the words that you're holding here, feeling here, and then emanating outwards to become your life experience. If you don't like what you see, 
You've got to do the work. You've got to get real with you. I'm not here to sugarcoat, okay? I didn't sugarcoat with myself. I'm not going to sugarcoat with you. Don't label yourself as a victim. It's okay to cry, but if you sit there and cry for days over the same thing without taking an action to make it better, then you're just playing the little victim story. And I call myself out because we all do it, okay? When you're playing your little victim story, at least recognize it and that'll pull you right out of it. You gotta get real. So I want you to do just that. Anything that you don't like in your life, I want you to write it down. And then I want you to number one, acknowledge you somehow created that thing. There are random negative things that happen. But I'm talking, you don't like your job. You don't like something a friend said to you, okay? Go ahead and take ownership that you're in that frequency, you're holding that frequency somehow. And then I want you to write an action that you can take a short-term action and then a long-term action to turn that problem into a beautiful experience. I did this six months ago and I applied everything and it is 100% worked. I just took ownership for everything I didn't like, chucked those labels where they belonged, I put them in the trash bin, the ones that weren't working anymore, freed myself from all that past pain and suffering that was attached to that label, and here I am, living in the moment. And, and I want to share it with you because that's part of my purpose. I'm a writer, I'm a teacher, I'm a student. This is part of paying it forward. It's not only learning for myself, but then bringing it out there for the collective good, whoever resonates with what I'm saying. So that's my message for you on this beautiful morning. We had some tornadoes come through last night and it's just gorgeous outside. I felt very clear and wanted to bring you this message. I love you all very much. Namaste.